Here we are in Colesville. We're gonna learn how to prune some roses today. Um, you can always do some big cuts on a rose. Um, you see this big area kind of sticking off to the side. That's how uh, the growth habit of drift roses, they usually go out before they go up. Um, if it ever gets too wild where it sends out a springy arm, as you can see, it's got some uh, arms sticking up here. Um, if that is unsightly to you, you can just go all the way into where the meat of the plant is and make that cut. And I always say go into the meat of the plant and then just a little bit lower because it's gonna, the foliage will then hide that cut. So I'm gonna show you that on one of these big uh, blooms up here. So um, this guy's got a, some new blooms coming out, so I'm gonna actually leave him so we can enjoy that. But this looks all spent to me. Uh, we do have some blooms on here, but they're pretty much falling apart at this point, as you can see. Um, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna cut off this thing down in the meat of the plant. Um, I'm gonna turn my, my pruners to a nice steep angle, almost like this. Uh, most of the stems are kind of growing upwards or at a slight angle this way or this way. I'm going to go flush with that, and that's how I'm going to hide that I've actually cut some of the plant. So you go way in here to where there's some growth, make the cut, and now it's invisible. On something like here, you really want to avoid um, just some of the nice blooms that are coming. You know, this flower is still going strong, but we have these ugly spent ones right here. So once again, I'm turning my pruners to the angle of the cut, going flush with the stem and making that cut. I don't know if you can see this tiny uh, plant there. There we go. There's that tiny angle cut. I'll show you that here. Is that angled cut. Um, that's going to help this really reflush and you'll get blooms on into the fall, believe it or not. We're going to go ahead and get some more cuts going so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So once again, we've got a lot of uh, nice blooms over here, a little mix and a lot of spent blooms. We're going to go right on into the meat of the plant um, so we can hide our cuts. We're going to go in at a steep angle, balm. We got the dead blooms, toss them to the side and continue until all you see are flowers and no more spent buds. Cleaning up your shrubs like this can really make them look happier and healthier. You don't need to do it. Um, it does uh, make them look a little bit cleaner. It will produce more blooms. Um, after you've pruned mid-season um, or even late season, it is good to put down a nitrogen heavy fertilizer. That'll help uh, boost new blooms for you. So if you really want that um, last flushing before the fall, I'll make sure to fertilize. Um, this is a great example of some spent uh, stems here. This is getting a little bit old looking. Uh, these have uh, gone through. It looks like a little bit of uh, foliar fungus. Not a big deal. It looks like the rest of the plant is recovered, but we're just going to go ahead and cut that out so we don't have to look at it. I'm going to go right on in and make some careful cuts on this, this older foliage. This big nasty cut that's now exposed, we're going to go right on into the main part of the stem and make sure we can't see that. And that is how you boost flowers all summer long on your roses. Drift roses and knockout roses really don't need a whole lot of care and attention. If you'd let, they're a good one to practice rose pruning on um, and moving your way on up to more specialized roses. Uh, we carry everything, so no matter how, how technical you are or want to be, we've got a rose for you. Coming out, fall is for planting. We're here Monday through Friday and Saturdays um, now uh, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 4.30 p.m. Have a great day.